And we're back. 35%. Let's see if we can get a 50% before we finish. It'll be nice. I mean, it'll be nice, but I don't know how optimistic that really is. I have realistic, rather, it might be being optimistic. If I manage to get to 50% before finishing uh, in the next hour or so, then it makes it more of a four part series instead of six part, which I was initially fearing. But we have all of this mold to clear, we've got a ton of graffiti. We've got whatever's on the platform itself, <laughs> and I don't know what percent that'll leave me at. Okay, the top of the door itself is not dirty, but there is a wall that's dirty up the top. Turbo time. That'll get a bit of splash. Turbo down this whole corner, I think, just in case there's anything around the edge. And back up on this side. And around. And the door itself. And the inside of this part of the frame. Why is the sign not a separate thing? <laughs> Surely the no entry sign should be a ding. Come on. Why is the door not finished yet? Ah, oh, the door handle, of course. Cool. Door frame should be just because of this. The plus side is, at least for these videos, because I'm wanting to capture the whole gameplay. Highlighting is really easy. I just need to cut out breaks. I have previously cut it out in little bits of others, but given that the whole point of this challenge is to show how long it takes, I've just left it. The entire thing each time. Uh, actually, short extensions probably fine. So we'll start this wall by doing just the yellow. So it looks like a lot of this is just dust. And that's fine. There's a fly stuck in my room while I was taking a break. 
a weird song. Blow your top. <laughs> Most of this wall's alright. There's just large patches of graffiti. Seems the dude who did the other end had all of the blue and green spray cans, and this guy had all of the warm colours. graffiti much because I'm going to have to go over that fully anyway with the turbo. Phew, we're only getting halfway. Now that pillar is also graffitied up. Bruce. Alright, well. Guess we get started. Cut us a nice margin down the corner there as well, first of all. sections. section once again we could just be doing like the red but the turbo gives us a nice overlap we don't miss weird little streaks we miss a few spots if you're in there every now and then, but they have kind of weird lines forming where we've missed. God, it feels like we've done nothing on this. <laughs>
That's a tad bit of variation. Yeah, so I, I can already see that when I go back and forward and don't overlap f almost fully, I'm seeing bits still just like the ghost of paint left behind. So doing it gradually with the turbo, is, it's just a better idea. And also work our way down to an extent and then start going like vertically. Have a little bit of change up in hand motion. The marker has moved slightly. I feel like I'm making some progress. <laughs> it's not moved much, but it's moved a bit. Bigger section almost done. All right. Now we just got this little patch here. I really wish the turbo spun a bit faster on the short. It's better than the stubby, but it's not as good as the long extensions. But we're not nearly far enough away to warrant using like the extra long. So a lot of the reason we're moving as slow as we are is to avoid it looping around and missing weird bits on the edges. You can see these kind of random bits that I miss sometimes. There we go, good. 
Let's just use the red for now. But then I miss big lines. It's really obvious when you miss bits with this. I guess I can do it, yeah, if I do it horizontally working up instead, use the curve of the pillar to my advantage to get the overlap. Kind of doing a sort of oval shape as we work our way down, sort of a spiral. Kind of like what the turbo does, but just in an abbreviated fashion. More of an elliptical thing. Seems to work. I mean, it looks like the bottom might just be able to be yellowed anyway, but... Um, let's not get too greedy. If I try and do it in sections too large, I'm just going to miss chunks. And the edge. The gate's going to be kind of annoying, but I'll just do them last, to be honest. And we've got to remember the pillar not to go too fast as well. At least this one I don't have to do the whole way around. got these weird air vents too on some of these. This one doesn't look like it's got any paint on it. Ah, oh, it's got like mold though, does it? Yeah. Alright, we'll stick with the red then. Doesn't look like it's the whole way around though, so maybe we could just yellow it to start with and then see what we need to do. I guess there's an underneath side to this. So with the yellow we'll do an up down instead and just see what there is left with this one without the graffiti all over it we might be able to get away without doing quite so much red work we'll just have to pick up on a few spots or it might just give it to me you never know So here's a bit of mold down by the air vent again. It's the vent itself. Hello. Okay, so that wasn't enough. I did see there was a bit around here as well. There we go. That was much better than than this one's going to be, for example. <laughs> Yeah, 
keep ending up with big bits missed. like the next few have graffiti all over them as well. Yeah, I keep missing big slices. Just kind of doing it in quarters, I guess. Quarters or fifths. I think I'm still probably doing it in bits that are a bit too big. And that's why I'm missing bits off to the side all the time. A lot of it's also just the angle when I'm looking up that much. It's better once I get down to about this level. I suppose I could do up-downs instead, couldn't I, at this point? Right, and this side. Yeah, so I did it in four, like in quarters, but I think almost doing it so that I'd do it in five is actually better. Just to prevent missing as much. I don't know. Bit of a crapshoot either way, really. It's just tough to get rid of all of this stuff. Apparently I missed too much. What have I missed? Well, and this is why you try to be thorough. It's the bidding it's up the rather top ring there. Let's turbo this instead. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I need to turbo the top ring. Maybe I should just do turbo 
vertically. Seems to help at least on the top sections anyway. If the goal is to be more thorough and not have to come back and spray wildly to try and pick up on things, then I think Turbo is just going to do it a bit better on some of these. It looks like this one might just be yellow on top. Yeah. It's only once we get into the paint that's a problem. Can we get more like this that we don't have paint on them, please? Okay, that was pretty smooth. So I've left myself a bit too much to do here by width, I think. Two more pillars to go. So the last one doesn't look graffitied at least. So that's nice. <laughs> this one has an air vent on it. Which has mould on it. Okay, the back side's not so bad. some like faded bits of graffiti but there's some large areas that don't have anything on so that's nice
just take it slowly. That's the sloop zombie again. Nice. this last bit here. Half of this is faded already. enough. <laughs> Darn. There must be some little bits that I've missed somewhere. I don't see where though. It's the top again. Yeah, it was the top again. Okay. I really need a turbo from further away so the splash will get into the ridge at the top. We do the same for the bottom too, actually. Oh, I've got the whole wall still to go, that's right. Okay, now this one looks to just be yellowable. Like the technical terms that we have in this game. Is it yellowable? I missed on this one. Oh, okay. Didn't have a made too much of an angle. There we go. That's a rusty ass gate. Okay, that's gonna be fun. And that's paint as well. God, they even graffiti the ceiling. Ugh. Savages. Still the wall around the graffiti that doesn't need turbo treatment. This is even more on this wall than was on the other end. They may have been kind on the main tunnel and having moss instead of mold and rust, but they were nuts on the paint on this wall. Maybe they swapped ends or something. The sadist who did the other end with mold. Did all the graffiti down this end. At least the floor looks like it should be fairly straightforward once we get down there. But this whole wall is going to need to be turboed or red. Okay, well. No time to, like the present to get started. Do the same sort of elliptical motions maybe? No, I'm missing tons. Turbo it is. Take the extension off for a start, which means a thicker track for the red. 
That's a bit better. It's also more faded paint down here anyway, so hopefully I'm actually getting it all and it's just impossible, not just impossible to see. I would stand further back so that I could see more, but the signal light is right behind me. <laughs> to be fair, standing closer makes it easier to see if I've missed anything too, so there's that. Slice by slice. Now what pizza? So even doing this map casually I felt that it was like twice as big as it needed to be. You feel it very keenly when you are not using the upgrades. <laughs> That is my own fault, so. I mean, with the Pro, this would go much quicker. I'm really hoping that maybe just maybe especially after i get this one out this this map has been a bit of a blocker because i just know that it's so huge and that it's going to take so long to get through it so it's been a bit of a blocker and i've been playing a lot of other things instead that and too much of the same thing just gets a bit tedious but once this one's out of the way from what i can remember I mean, there are definitely some very large maps coming up. There's a few that I haven't even done before because I reset my progress um, after getting most of the achievements, but not all of them. So I know that there's a few extra maps that um, I haven't done, and there's a couple of big ones in that. But I seem to remember that like the next one is the Fortune Teller Caravan. And then I think the next one after that was the statue out in the desert, which shouldn't be too bad, I hope. It wasn't too huge, at least. And then there was like a plane, like a biplane, which was really, you know, relatively small. I mean, it's got a lot of oil and stuff on it, so it'll be hard to do with this, but I'll just turbo the crap out of it and it should be fine. And then there's the hand, like the the ancient hand sculpture thing in the desert. And that was the last one that I did before I reset progress because I wanted to get the achievement of using the white nozzle only on that. And to do that you have to use the pro washer. <laughs> and even then it took a long time. <laughs> And then after that I think there's the, there's like a fishing boat I think is the next one after that. Which I should have pressed on to do because um, there is an achievement associated with that as well. But yeah, it would have been a good idea to do that with the pro. But that's fine, I'll get that with this washer instead. It's just like cleaning certain elements first, which 
honestly is easier to do with a less powerful washer because you're less likely to accidentally overspray something and get a ding without realizing. But after the fishing boat, I'm not sure how many more maps there even are anyway. I think there's only a couple. And they're like the end game ones. I've seen one of them before, so I, I know what one of them is as I've seen in a speedrun. And it's another vehicle. And it's probably one that'll be a bit hard to do with this because it'll be tenacious stuff. Lots of fiddly bits. But that's fine, I don't mind it when it's lots of fiddly bits. I, I'm less enthused about it when it's these massive big features with just the same problem throughout. Like doing this wall, this is not the fun part of the game. I mean, it's still satisfying seeing it come clean, but I'd much rather be doing lots of smaller features and getting lots of nice things instead of just cleaning off some big brain vomit off the wall. And then the final map, from what I understand, is massive and will probably be the next one that requires multiple parts. The fishing boat might be like a two-parter perhaps, depending on scheduling. And how tenacious it is. Like even a large map can go quickly if I don't have to keep using the red nozzle or the turbo. Gonna do the rare thing of going up instead of down just for some variety. Doesn't really make much difference either way, but it means I get to twist my wrist the other direction for a change. But what I'm hoping is that now that we're getting this massive roadblock out of the way, that I'll be able to polish off the rest of them within the next month or two. And then I can jump back in, well we've got the other specials to do, we've got the Tomb Raider bonus DLC pack, and we've got the new specials that they added. So we'll do those. We might even do some of those before we move on, like as a bit of a break from this again before doing final missions, for example. And then we're going to run it back. We're going to buy everything, like the Pro Washer and all of its attachments, and then we're going to run it back in uh, free play mode and bullets through all of the levels and see what the difference is. Because <laughs> this wall would have been done 20 minutes ago using the Pro Washer, because I could just yellow the whole thing. I could probably green the whole thing even. The Pro is extremely overpowered. Or you can use the silly trident red nozzle thing, which is honestly more trouble than it's worth. But it's there. It would make this much quicker. But it's like, that would be a useful nozzle for this washer. For the Pro, it's just redundant. You're better off using the turbo. If it was a triple turbo, now that would be great. Because then it would cover up the gaps in between each of the nozzles. Otherwise you just end up with two parallel lines that you haven't done. Uh, I can finally see the end. <laughs> I can finally feel like I'm making progress instead of cleaning an infinite wall of graffiti. The end is in sight. Tell you what, my wrist is not gonna thank me for this. 
I think this afternoon is going to be spent sitting on the couch <laughs> doing very little. Not that that ever happens because every like hour and a half I've got to do something with my daughter anyway so I'll be picking her up this afternoon in an hour and a half's time or thereabouts. And that's when my part-time job begins again. <laughs> I'm currently on leave effectively. I am taking the day off work tomorrow because it's a public holiday on Tuesday, so I'm taking the Monday off. But since school is also not back, I will be otherwise occupied during the day a lot. We might still squeeze in some streams though, I'm hoping to. I'd really like to get this map in particular just completely finished this long weekend. We can try and make that work. Almost done. Then we can do the floor. I think we we might be able to get to forty percent. Which over four videos will be an average of ten percent per video. And that means ten videos is required, which is insane the treetops took me two though I think I made each one like a couple hours long so but this is undisputedly the longest level until you get to the finale as I understand it There we go, good. So we've got the tactile floor and the tiled floor. Hopefully neither are mouldy. It's like standing on Lego. <laughs> Walking on Lego. Whoa. It's like sunshine, but more painful. I mean, if we find out that there's mold on it, then we can just keep going with the yellow to start with, and then turn around and come back. So we put the short extension back on, and then we can fire out further ahead of us and still clean it. It looks like, yeah, going midline like this, we're still able to clean it off, so that's good. It looks like the main, like the tiled floor, is just dusty as well, so that's good. Oh, excellent, it's in small sections. Oh, we're gonna get so many dings. Beautiful. What's the bidding it turns moldy down the other end? There's like a metal strip on the other side of the tiles, so that's going to be my limit. I'm going to go as far as that before I consider this side done and I start on the other side. And I was curious to see what percentage we get to. 
section see i thought that it was going to be sectioned up more but i guess it was just after the first pillar or whatever here's the other section here oh this is the middle anyway okay so it's in two sections each half fine yeah i was going to be curious to see what percentage it gets up to across one side essentially and it looks like a little bit about it'll be about 40% and that's including doing some of the stuff that's technically in the middle, it's not the tunnel itself. It'll be 40% one side or thereabouts, 40 the other side and then 20 through the middle. I'm missing a few little bits here but it's not holding it against me too badly. Makes change. Feels like it's getting a little bit more tenacious down this end. Oh hey, we hit 40%. Construction began on the Muckingham to Caldera City branch in 1920, funded by local businessman Wilberforce Thrust. Oh, Lake Thrust's ancestor, I assume. It's finally avowed by Mayor Jeff Jefferson the Tenth. Tragically passed away the self same day. For an incident related to the station's substandard construction. Brilliant. about to wonder why the lighting seemed like it was changing. It's because we're getting closer to that red signal light down the end, I guess. Nice. Okay. That was straightforward, at least. Now, please, tiles don't have mold. kind of weird how it has like multi-purpose as the thing instead of it being like concrete ceramic it's just all multi-purpose this is where i wish that i could just okay get it a bit more there we go a bit more centered though i'm gonna run into pillars going down this platform anyway aren't i Probably gonna hit like 42% or something in fact. At least 41. I mean that's fine, if the middle is 18% or something, or even 16%, we might be able to do that in one episode. Now it's a case of, is this tiled platform floor even sectioned? I suspect not, so this will probably be the whole way down. And I've definitely seen little bits that I've missed as well. So you guys have to take it a little bit slower on some of these bits. Okay, so maybe I do need to put this small extension on or something. So I might just be losing a bit of power when it's halfway up the screen. It's actually quite wide. Well, I mean, we can do the pillar bits first and then come back. So we can do five wide. run into the pillars we can kind of go around the other side we 
missing little bits. But I don't want to just red nozzle it. Just have to go a little bit slower. Yeah, it looks like five's the magic number to get up to the pillars. sure why the pillars change alignment part way down. So they stick out onto the platform quite far. Yeah, 41% so far. I think it's technically the floor is less part of the platform. But we've done the ceiling above it, so... And it's more part of the platform than the concourse. At least we don't have to do the whole station, we don't have to do upstairs. Where the ticket booths and everything would be. Should be the last pillar, I think, before the gate one. Here, yeah. which is fine. Then we can also do it just like three wide or something and then come back. It means we can just zoom quicker. Still missing little bits though. Green, house flies are the worst. I know we're almost finished, but I really need to stretch a bit. Alright, home stretch for this half. See if we get to 42% or if we stay at 41. Let's not go too fast, eh? Otherwise I'm gonna have lots of little bits that I have to pick up after myself. 
That will just be annoying. Nice if there was a little seam right here that could ding. <laughs> this floor really should be sectioned up better. The textured one, I liked how that was sectioned up. It would be nice if the tiled bit just had some other bits, some sort of seam along. Again, getting a bit too greedy on how how fast I'm going. I just need to take it like a half tile at a time. It's always when I actually press the button to go forward as well that it throws me off. I need to get into a better rhythm. I should only press forward when I'm at the edge. not halfway, otherwise that's when I miss bits. halfway yet <laughs> I think that's only the second pillar so halfway should be up here yeah I can see the divider now Shame that it's not a divider for this floor. A random bit where I obviously had it on auto while I was looking around. <laughs> that would have been when I was doing the pillar, I guess. First pillar after the gate, I think. Almost done. Yeah, 42% looks like we'll finish on. Couldn't quite time it with the end of the music. Oh well. There we go. Fifty dollars for that. Nice. Well, that looks nice. From uh, if you if you look this way, it looks really good. <laughs> and next time, we'll start on this one. Now I'm curious. Okay, so we've still got an abysmal amount of graffiti. I don't see any mold, so that's nice. At least down this end, it looks to be grimy with a bit of lichen, but I don't see any mold on the floor. We've got the same graffiti down here. Ooh, there's some oil. There's some bits of oil, but it doesn't look to be moldy. 
yeah, that came off clean. Ooh, may maybe some spots up there. No, it's lichen and grime apparently. Okay, so this... This tunnel might actually go quicker than the last one. It'll be interesting to find out. Anyway, that will do for now. Uh, we've got a nice half clean <laughs> or a third clean subway right now. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.